Yeah, so hello everybody uh, and thanks for the invitation to uh, Alp Industry in Russia. Uh, my name is Julian, Julian Slezak. I'm uh, working within Mammut since uh, two and a half years. Uh, responsible, I'm an area sales manager, also responsible for Russia. So I'm really glad to be here. Um, yes, telling you something about, uh, about Mammut. Uh, it's a Swiss company, it was founded in uh, 1862. So quite a long heritage. Uh, we focus on pure alpinism, coming from uh, a rope maker, being passionate with outdoor, um, yeah, and like to have premium um, styles and collection uh, for mountaineering, climbing, skiing, or um, ski touring. Um, I have here uh, a phone with some questions. So like Alp Industry, I collected them uh, via Instagram, and yeah, we use the chance right now to to answer um, those questions. I will start with the first one. Um, does Mammoth have any technology uh, feature that competitors don't? Is there some technology that no one else uses its own development? So actually there are a lot of technologies within our, within our whole product range. Um, one technology I mentioned first would be laser fuse. So that's a totally new technology we own within Mammoth. It's a new way how to make uh, down chambers. Obviously, a second big topic we have within Mammoth is um, the whole Mammoth Connect topic. So it's an interaction um, between our product and the digital app or like a digital world, um, which I think we are the only one using it. And of course, the whole topic around the Barry Walks, that's really a unique thing. Uh, second question, uh, why should a person choose Mammoth, uh, not something else? Yeah, of course, like it's always the consumer uh, decision what kind of brands uh, you are able to use and there are a lot of strong outdoor brands but what you have with Mammut is a premium brand um, with a heritage in Switzerland which is focusing on premium outdoor in mountaineering, climbing, skiing, so like the whole package and that's why I would say Mammut is a really good alternative you should choose on. So like the third question is actually um, what product of your brand are you really proud of? Uh, yeah, obviously it's really hard to say something there because there are a lot of uh, unique products starting with climbing, with the, with the smart. Um, but if I have to mention one, um, it's the Hollygrad outfit, it's a freerider outfit. I totally like the fit, it has all the features I, I need as a freerider. Um, so that's for me like a product I'm really using and I'm proud of. Of course the Barryvox, super unique icon like uh, Avalanche device. Um, yeah, which as a company we're really proud of as well, um, but yeah, it's, we can continue this quite a long time now. <laughs> uh, what model of uh, sleeping bag to choose? Temperature range uh, about 0 to minus 5 degrees, analog to uh, Thermarest uh, Hyperion. Um, yeah, I can show you something which we, we bring to the market actually in spring summer 20, so it's a really a sneak preview. Um, my perfect or my, my choice would be um, hope you can see it over there on the internet, um, the recovery series and I will go for the down one on the relax part. So this is um, the bag I would choose, uh, I love the most and it's yeah, totally new coming in spring summer 20, so in some months. Okay, next question. Um, does the company have ecological projects? Um, that's a huge topic within Mammut. Um, so we right now, we signed the EU charter to reduce, for example, CO2 emissions minus 30%. We do a lot to change our supply chain to an even more greener supply chain. We do not have ecological projects uh, out there, but we focus a lot to be a more greener company uh, in the future. Now the last question, um, that's a really good one actually. Um, why is there a mammoth on the logo? So that's a long, long story and it's really going back in the, in the heritage of the company. So mammoth sort of starts with rope business, with manufacturing or like uh, industrial ropes. Um, and then of course the whole alpinism started and Mammoth also like provide the first real climbing ropes and the sign of being strong was the Mammoth. So it was the Mammoth rope, so like a strong rope and that's why there is still the Mammoth, uh, our key, key animal or key logo. Yeah, uh, I hope I was able to answer all your questions uh, like uh, Alp Industry I collected. I'm really glad that I was invited to, to Russia, to Moscow and have the training here. Um, yeah, looking forward to see a lot of Mammoth products, of course, on the market. Looking forward to, to you guys using the Mammoth products. Have fun in the outdoors and yeah, enjoy the winter. Goodbye.